Shabbat Shalom, Rabbi Rachel Zarin here with a thought for Shabbat. This week we read Parashat Vayikra, which begins the book of Leviticus. Now, Leviticus does not always have the best reputation among the books of the Torah. It is a book consumed with details about how to worship in the Mishkan, specifically the sacrifices that were offered there which sacrifices were offered, when they were offered, who offered them, how they were offered, detail upon detail of a sacrificial system that has not been a part of Jewish worship since the temple was destroyed nearly 2,000 years ago. It can be easy to wonder, if we no longer offer sacrifices today, what does the book of Leviticus have to do with me? And yet, in among those details about the sacrifices are so many lessons for us. Lessons about what it means to come close to the holy. Lessons about what it means to build and mend relationships with people. Lessons about what it means to build sacred community. And lessons about what it means to live lives of holiness. Take, for example, the description of the Asham offering in this week's Torah portion. The asham was a sacrifice that any member of the community could bring. And this week's Torah portion teaches us that the asham could be a sheep or a goat. But if a person could not afford to bring a sheep or a goat, then they could bring two birds. And if a person could not afford two birds, then they could bring a small amount of flour. Each one of these sacrifices was a valid asham offering. Each one of these sacrifices was a valued and important gift to God. We may not offer the Asham sacrifice today, but how much can we learn from having different ways of coming close to God? We learn how important it is to be inclusive of all members of our community, no matter what they bring to the table. And we also learn of the importance of having multiple pathways to being part of a holy community. What works for one person might not work for another. The book of Leviticus knows this, and we know this too. And so just like in the time of the Mishkan, there were multiple ways of bringing sacrifices, so too today do we have multiple ways of engaging in sacred community. For some, their main way of engaging in community might be prayer. For others, it might be enjoying holiday celebrations or volunteering within the community. For some, it might be engaging in sacred study and for others, it might be accompanying people at times of great joy or great difficulty. Whatever your pathway to entering our sacred community, all are valid and valuable. All are ways of entering our community and all are ways of living lives of holiness. We know this from our parasha and we know this today. And so, Whichever pathway you take, we hope that you join us on this sacred journey, and may you have a Shabbat Shalom.